let's look how we can create a interesting type of the clouds with a maybe mixed colors create some but very surrealistic or sci-fi scenery so let's work with the clouds first because i want to see what properties we can access there so you notice on your um left tab fast access tab if we click we have it multiple different clouds and we have a cloud layers we also have it um meta clouds from preset or just add meta cloud so you can select different let's go and just click and open meta clouds from the already preset you can see we have it some of the collections the one i want to do just use a dissolve camera so you can select any other ones and if we create this cloud let's go zoom out a little bit right here is our cloud and i'm going to just rotate so we have a longer shape you can see in preview it's actually a very nice cloud overall if we open you notice it is created from many many spheres so you can create by yourself and they have specific material so if we open material it is a volumetric material with specific properties so modifying those properties we can actually can manipulate with a coloring and light reflection and other things that base it on this volumetric material also nice things about using those clouds they are as objects like it in one place so it sometimes can be a little bit time saving to render with this so let's look on some properties here by default the white we can manipulate some additional properties same as the volumetric color but it's what interesting that these this custom ambient colors so in the case where we can manipulate with some coloring to do this we need enable force ambient color at this point we can make a function draining or we can create uh, for example a different color the function draining we have options here if you notice okay let's expand it and we can create a different um, colors based on positions on density or actually even position from the specific object so for example if cloud go up and down it can change the color so example we can go create a different and let's just for now create a basic or a simple fractal will work for this okay next we'll go to create color and let's create um something different maybe color map on this okay and we'll preload it like rainbow colors will connect to the our altitude based on simple fractal and we can connect to the ambient right here okay let's go turn it off and you notice we have our basic our color map based on sky ambient let's go back here and this is our ambient color so we can use also local in some cases we don't see any big difference it's just slightly because it is applied to ambient color we can also to do for the sun ambient color okay we can go right here and just do same for now yeah, so this is and you can already see some coloring right here changing Okay, we can go back and just to have this one let's go volumetric as well and we'll go to modify this in a function and we'll just connect this as well so everything will go to same color you'll notice how the coloring already applied and because we are located and right in the bottom so this is our input we can look on the map and it's right around this area so we can modify some fractal to affecting so for example let's go just make zero one zero one just make a little bit smaller so a little bit more grain and you can see right here we kind of start having this different coloring grain going on okay 
we also can manipulate with a filter. So let's go to add a little bit more contrast. Notice how we change right in this area. Okay, maybe too much. I think this will be look interesting. Okay, let's go click OK. And you can see we're just manipulating a little bit with the um, colors. Creep in a little bit increasing. So let's go just a little bit on a smoothing. And just a little bit compressing. I think this way may work better. Okay, we can pop up also roughness, which will create a little bit more noisy, but at the same time provide probably a bit more for us. Let's reduce effect and gain. Okay, so right here you can see how it's already mixed, and that's what I'm going. I'm not going for same same color. I'm just just going as example so we can preview. Let's click OK. And we'll take our camera. Let's center on our cloud. And let's go ahead and render. Okay, you can see we have a very nice rainbowing cloud. Let me go disable a couple options on our camera. You can see it's have it kind of colorful, all this grainy, so we can create almost like cartoonish. You not necessarily need to do this. We can create um, different blue, green, different type of cloud. And we can do this also by going inside. And of course, it's world standard. We can copy these properties and apply in other settings. So let's look first what we also have here. So we have it cover density opacity. We can increase opacity. It will make a little bit deeper. And I think maybe we'll do this just so we can create very interesting kind of depth on this. Um, pop up the ambient light. And you remember we did with other colors. So it's kind of start adding of this mix. I don't know if we want to do this or we can just go inside the lighting. And right here we can go to our map sky and we can change a little bit of this instead of have it uh, grainy create a little bit different so same things we can create uh, let's go create new months maybe okay fractal sorry we'll go fractal we'll go to simple fractal for this okay and we'll go to color and we'll create new color map it will connect this one inside color map let's go open and maybe select nicer a little bit okay and we can sky ambient click to this and sun so just a little bit less reduce on this grainy but add some effect same things we can increase gain so we'll be a little bit more kind of visible effect to this okay this is for, for the our ambient and other ones and we'll pop up here let's pop up a little bit shadowing uh, feathering will help just cover some of those areas okay reduce a little bit on the scaling okay and again if we put roughness you'll see more details kind of start coming up a little bit down on this okay so let's go click OK on this and nice things we can go and just copy this material. So if we go and create different cloud. Maybe right here we can also right click, paste material. And of course, because it's a world, um, map it. So you can see the kind of start. 
adjusting. Okay, let's go create another one. In some cases, it's almost look like psychedelic, something maybe um, when you're high or something, I don't know. Okay, we'll go right there. Notice on some coloring that we're repeating. Okay. And we can go render and see how they will look. Okay, so render is completed. And as preview, you can see we have some similarity with positioning based on altitude because they all apply to kind of same function. Okay, this is one way to add a very nice coloring to our um, cloud. You know what, let's do change a little bit this map. We'll change to the same. So it will be a little bit more settled to this case. And same on fractal. We'll just restore a little bit nicer and um, right here and the our color map here look fine let's pop up a little bit higher the reason why because I notice we have quite a bit noise and by increasing we a little bit reducing some of this ambient and you can see the noise on that one here, overall here we kind of on the middle because it's a gray um, to reduce this we need increase or gain it will give it us a little bit more contrast if we need it add more coloring to this okay let's go this one I'll go bring in So next things also take in consideration and what I'm kind of adjusting, it is position of the sun because if we can have it very nice placement for the atmosphere and we're going inside and also work a little bit more on the lighting and currently let's switch in the photometric, see what is given to us. It's a little bit more subtle. I would like just standard, but we'll switch to global retrocity. We'll go ambient light and take ambient light, a little bit more bluish, desaturated. Get over around here. Should give it us nicer, more paint like colors. Okay, we don't need about colors. We can go a bit more to the ambient sunlight. Let's, let's just a little bit on the sunlight. Sky fog and haze. We can pop up aerial perspective, give it us covering maybe even too much we don't want loose colors on a cloud but we could pop up a little bit more glowing from the sun going dissipation there and bring down okay also on the fog so we can go and add a little bit nicer colors again this is more like almost when you um, maybe on some type of drugs, or I don't know, this kind of colors will look this way. Okay, let's go bring some, even a little bit more down. Okay, notice right here how is our clouds, we need to work more on a density for them, so they don't glow that much. We can put right here. We also want to go to atmosphere editor and when we place sun behind the clouds we want to take the scattering and this is kind of important so you'll notice if the scattering is 
lower it does not scatter as much so we want to bring almost to the one point then we have a nice glowing around edges of the cloud as well we can increase a little bit more on the sun glowing from the point itself or just reduce and make clouds a little bit more glowing right here okay let me check yeah we want to take haze all the way down we remove some fog from this point so we'll have it nice interesting look okay let's pop up this one up okay we'll take main camera put it to the clouds and let's render and see what crazy clouds we have so far okay so right here we have it our clouds and you can see it's look like almost candy clouds or um, whatever you can call with multiple colors again idea of this tutorial is to see how we can actually change colors of the clouds in a way we want it so you can add all these different multiple colors and play with them and other tutorials when we're going to create more sci-fi look we're going to use these techniques to change the colors of the clouds to create somewhat um, very alien planet or some very interesting type of the planet somewhere 